Just as Japanese families choose minivans, crossovers are gaining popularity in Europe. The number of one box options continues to decrease, and at the same time the Renault Scanic evolved into a battery EV with a model change. It was also converted into a crossover. The body size is 4470mm in length, 1864mm in width, and 1571mm in height. It is about 100mm shorter and about 90mm lower than the Nissan Iria. Renault claims it's a new type of family car, and says it has interiors specifically designed for it. Although it is a subjective impression, I feel that the front mask is similar to the Peugeot E3008 released around the same time. The Renault emblem looks bigger than ever, the windshield is strongly tilted and the rear glass is slim. Despite its modern styling, visibility may have been sacrificed to some extent. The basic framework is the CMF EV platform. The same as the Nissan Ariya and Renault Megane Tech Electric. It is front wheel drive with a permanent magnet synchronous motor mounted on the front axle side, and four wheel drive is not planned. The maximum output is 169 PS in the comfort range. In the long range test drive this time, it produces 218 PS. The driving battery has a capacity of 60 kWh or 87 kWh, and both are high density ternary batteries that use nickel manganese, and cobalt as the positive electrode. Cruising range is claimed to be 429 km with the former capacity and 624 km with the latter. Only 87 kilowatts hour will be introduced to the UK. Prices are expected to start at around £40,000, approximately 7.4 million yen. Even after changing to a crossover, the luggage compartment capacity is 545 L which is as large as a one-box vehicle. Opening the tailgate reveals a flat, square space. There is also a storage space under the floor where you can store the charging cable. The floor is low and there is a step when you fold down the 40 hours, 20 minutes, and 40 second split rear seat backrest. But the UK version is said to be equipped with a floor panel that can change the height as standard. It smoothly connects to the back of the backrest, which should make it easier to use. The space on the rear seat side is wide, especially in the front and rear directions. Even adults over 180 cm tall can feel comfortable. The roof was equipped with a panoramic glass roof whose transparency could be changed with the touch of a button, giving it an outstanding sense of openness. The floor inside the car is flat, and the center rear seat is comfortable. Even if you line up three children, you won't have any complaints. However, it does not support sliding or reclining. Two child seats can be fixed. Ideally, European families would be happy if the child seat could be fixed with three legs. If you place emphasis on practicality, your options will be limited to one box. When sitting in the driver's seat, forward visibility is not bad, but the large side mirrors create a sizable blind spot diagonally forward. Rear visibility is also not good. Still, there is plenty of space on the front side. The interior materials are of high quality, and the iconic grade I tested featured some leather. The fact that about 80% of the product is made from recycled materials will also be an appealing point in 2023.